Previously on Danganronpa V3. Gotcha, no! Gotcha, use bugs to help search for solution! I got to go! Uh! Oh my god, bees! Uh! Uh! Oh god, yes! Oh, sting me hard, bees! Yeah! Uh! Uh! Oh god, the bees are jamming up my camera! <laughs> oh my god, there's such beautiful hope! So much fucking hope! <laughs> now back to a new killing game. Hello! Snicko Bee! Back with some more, Danganronpa V3. We last left off, we got to play as freaking Hajime Kamehameha, and it was, it was fucking glorious, man. Like, oh my god, this is way better than I thought it would be, honestly. I thought, like, okay, this is just gonna be a fun little diversion, you know. This is just some shit they just kind of tacked on at the end with probably a little effort thrown into it. But no, man, they really put a lot of thought into these, like, these scenarios. It's really, really impressive. Like, it really shows the love for the... For the original series, you know? And I don't know, it's just like, it's like playing through a, an official fan fiction. <laughs> just, it's fucking beautiful, alright? It's, it's fucking beautiful. It feels good to be able to like, go in and like, voice some of these characters, some of these classic characters that I love doing, you know? I love doing the Kamado voice. It's just so much fucking fun. We also defeated the first boss of the Monokuma test thing, and uh, I'm sure it just gets harder from there. So I saw in the comments, uh, a lot of people suggesting that I, uh, should try to get absorb focus for almost a, for almost any build of a character. It's a really good thing to have. Um, yeah, that's right. That's that's how you restore your MP in this is by getting absorb focus. So I was what I was gonna do was actually go back through and like train my current uh, party or something just to try to get uh, absorb focus. But then I came to realize something that I wasn't aware of. When you go back through again. Your character starts from level one. You start from scratch. It's like essentially like a redo. So in other words, I can't get my characters any stronger than they are right this moment. If I and if I want to, I have to start all over again. Oh, that that kind of sucks. <laughs> I mean, really sucks because you could have a bad run, you know, just due to RNG. You know, you didn't land on the shit that you wanted to land on. Maybe you picked the wrong option. Unless I guess unless you're using a guide. So it's like, oh, that that really blows. So, if I really want to get Kameda or any of these other guys with that skill, I have to play through the entire thing again and with from level one and and hope that I get at least some of the good stat boosts. Because I mean, like, like it's like I got some good shit, but unfortunately, absorb focus. Uh, God damn it! I I wish I'd realized how important that was. Ah, oh, that really blows. I realized also that because you're going to be getting these rare characters, at some point, you're going to move beyond, right, the the end characters, the normal characters. At some point, you are going to switch out, switch them out, I guess. I, I, and I, I think that's probably the reason why they made it so that you start over again, so you just couldn't stick with the same one and keep getting stronger and stronger uh, with that character, but it still kind of sucks. Oh, well, I'll just have to stick with what I've got right now. But uh, anyway, so I had asked you guys what who you wanted to see uh, me do next, and the overwhelming opinion, much to my delight, was Izuru. Yes, you guys want to see Izuru as badly as I do, so uh, let's do it. Apparently, he's actually uh, like each character does have like sort of specialties in their um, in their stats, uh, even just like their base stats. And apparently, Hajime is more of like he's got high uh, HP and a high defense. And K K uh, Kokichi has like he's like an intelligence character, but he also has high strength. It's kind of weird. And then like uh, Kameda, who's a is actually I think he said has has high agility and high luck. Unfortunately, he actually is best probably for being a healer, so that was a good call on my part. But Izuru has high strength, which doesn't surprise me. I mean, just watch him in the fucking anime. He just like curb stomps the shit out of Junko. So let's check out uh, Izuru. <laughs> I like actually, I look at, looking at his picture here, you can actually see like, based on his clothes, like there's like lines <laughs> coming out of it. Like he's just powering up all the time. Just got an aura about him. What? Well, it's interesting how his hair color here seems to be a little lighter. Like, wasn't it, uh, his hair totally black? All right, uh, it's like, okay, this guy is like a, a decent balance then. Man, it sort of adds on to the stress then. Like, you're like, I want to have a good run, but when you go through this, but I also want to land on a lot of these, uh, friendship things. You know what, I'm going to go with the friendship course. I haven't actually done that yet. How See, he's like, it's like he's fucking powering up. Is there even any meaning in the ultimate hope bothering to enroll at Hope Speak Academy? I am ultimate everything, don't you get that? That's right, he was originally the ultimate hope. I, f I kind of forgot about that before he came, well, quote unquote, ultimate despair, but that was really not true, right? He never really became that. They just sort of, uh, that was something that Juko had 
like falsely put out there that Izuru had become uh, evil, when in fact he was more like a, a spectator, an outsider watching things unfold and trying to decide whether to uh, favor hope over despair or vice versa. Because by that point, he was a fucking god. Look at him. He's already level 1,000. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, Chucky. Yes, baby. Give me that Chucky love too, baby. No, fuck you. You guys it requested a lot of other characters. And I think the top ones were Mew, Rintaro, uh, like Gundam, and also maybe the... Uh, Fat Tagami, or the imposter, essentially. I don't know. There were, but there were also. I, I swear, I think I saw a request for almost every character in this. But I think those were like the top, top ones. All right, let's go. Friendship Square. Mm. Oh! <laughs> hey, look at that. We have a, the same hairstyle. We should be friends. Or duel to the death! Hmm. You are. You are. Y you are. Hmm. So you're one of the students with a combat-related talent. Mm. Yes, I'm the ultimate martial artist, Sakura Ogami. How strange. Your body doesn't look built at all, but I can t tell you're strong. In order to become the strongest human alive, I must test your power. That's what I believe. Good. That's probably true. I'm talented in many martial arts. The muscles you spent years building would probably mean little against me. So then. Even a little would be fine. Can you spare some time? That's... Does that mean you want to fight? How boring. I'm just waiting. He's gonna say it, right? I don't think there's any point to a battle where the uh, outcome is obvious. Well... It's weird for... Like, it's still weird for me when I hear the Danganronpa voice cast, uh, their, uh, actual voice actors talking. The English voice actors. Because I got so used to... When I played through Danganronpa 1, although to be fair, when I actually played through that, I didn't have the the Japanese on either. I had muted the voices entirely. So it's just, <laughs> I don't know. I got so used to hearing my own voices for them I, and not the voice cast. You may be able, to be able to predict the results, but does that mean you are always correct? No. My predictions are always correct. <sighs> Even so, in a battle, you will never know the final results until it is over. <laughs> hey! 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 Are you guys giving off the wrong vibe? Mm. What do you want, Monokuma? We're in the middle of something. No way! What do you think this is? The disappointing finale to a bleachy battle manga or something? <laughs> oh! Am I making a Kubo reference? Oh! Remember Ichigo? Remember when he was cool? Me neither! Ah! <laughs> oh, that, man, that manga went to shit at the end, didn't it? This is supposed to be about the daily lives of host speak boys and girls, too! Like falling for the new girl in class, or falling for your high childhood friend, that sort of thing! It's a bonus mode, alright? Is that why you two fucking muscle-bound assholes fighting each other? Weak. Don't you want a convoluted love to take a hedron that works out for everyone in the end? You guys! That! That is what you guys want, right? <laughs> My bad! Clearly I'm just getting in your way! Go ahead, kill each other, destroy the school and while you're at it! Yeah? So you really work out a fight, huh? Man, bears got nothing on you savage humans! Okay, okay... Except for me, that one bear from that movie with uh, Alec Baldwin, and that guy from Hannibal, and that bear like mulls the shit out of that one dude, like rips his arm off and eats him alive, that shit was HARDCORE! Even I kinda winced at that, I was like, ah! Oh! Okay then, I'll just be the referee! Let's get it! I'm sorry. <laughs> It seems we should have our fight in a more private place, so no one can disturb us. How pointless. How pointless. <laughs> we both wasted our time here. And thus a declaration of war was made! Sweet. Yeah, I know my strength's gotta go up after that shit. Yeah! <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Izuru's kinda like, just like the ultimate badass, right? Ultimate badass. Oh, Izuru, come stop by me! No, come back! <sighs> okay, what we got? You found a yearbook belonging to a student from a few years ago. There are a lot of pictures of your upperclassmen having a good time. Will your photo album be just as happy? You're starting to feel sentimental. Oh, my focus increased. Focus. Your hair is almost as long as mine, Gonta. Alright, uh, oh no, a bad luck chain letter. If you don't send it to ten people, you get bad luck. What do you do? Rip it up and throw it away. Burn in, throw it away! Burn! Who cares about dumb jokes like this? You burn it and toss it! Uh, uh oh. But when you set fire to the letter, it goes up in flames and causes a huge fire. Bad luck. Must be that letter. Be more careful next time. But my focus still increased. More focus. 
Uh, <laughs> today's the fourth sports festival. It's a boring event, but Usami forced you to participate. <laughs> oh my god. Just imagine, like, Izuru just, like, palming the basketball, just slam dunking on everybody. It's like, boom, yeah! Get dunked on, bitch. Every time he does it, the backboard just shatters. They're like, oh god, now we gotta replace it again. Every time, Izuru, come on, man. Can you just, like, bring the power level down a little bit? I can't. I'm always at maximum power! To get her to leave you alone, decide to participate in just one event. Which one will it be? I will choose basketball. I will choose table tennis. I will choose soccer. Let's go with black basketball because that's what Hajime did. I want to see if there's like parallels to it. Oh! Damn you! Oh! <laughs> there is! What? You are in this? How boring. Let's. There you are. How boring. Let's hurry and get this over with. I am talented at basketball. Hey, damn it. Oh, and actually, now, I always say it's Kirk Thornton. It's not Kirk Thornton. It's the guy who voiced Eric and also Shido from Persona 5. That's who's voicing this dude, which is not Kirk Thornton. Kirk Thornton is Saito from Karate Kenshin. The fuck? You think you can beat me? Good. That is a given. You son of a bitch. <laughs> You've got, you got some nerve, punk. I'll teach you a lesson for underestimating me. The opposing team seemed to be very fired up, but you won without any effort. Just one, I, just by himself, too. <laughs> That's it. I win, bitch. I am a god of this world. Vent Square, you find a voice changer. Let's just speak in different voices. Which one do you choose? All right, Monokuma, Shirakuma. I think I'm going to go with Monokuma this time. I went Shirakuma last time. Oh, that was actually a different group. My adorable children. He tried acting fatherly. Oh, that voice. Father? Father, isn't he? Isn't it? Monokuma just got really excited. It was pretty funny. <laughs> oh, my strength went up too. Yes. More power. More power for Izuru. Hello, friend. Would you like to join me on this seesaw? No. Stay away, weirdo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Can I not land there, please? Shit. That's not where Izuru wanted to go. All right, let's go down this way this time. Ah, friend square. What's up? Oh. Oh, good morning. You up early? Yes. Good morning. Goodbye. Huh? They, they put so much effort into this. It's just amazing. See, this is like perfect. I think it's it's like the best way to do this. Play as Hajime, then now plays Izuru. And we are, we're seeing parallels. He's going through a lot of the same things that Izuru, uh, Hajime did. But now we're seeing these different interactions. Huh, hold on, uh, that's it. What is it? Is there a problem? So, um... No, but should you ask why I'm up earlier? How I'm doing or how big my titties are? Not really. I don't particularly care. Hmm. Jeez, how do you get along with your classmates like that? Well, I guess Jackie and Mahiru are pretty attentive to others, but, but still. You're right. Does Jackie realize what you do with your hair, Hajime? There's someone who talks to me every day. I have nothing to say back, though. Aww. Aww, is he's rooting to Chiaki? Aww. That's sad. That's, that's heartbreaking. The classmates must have it tough. Seems like they wouldn't know what to do with you. Um. Because I'm sure you're amazing, right, Izuru? I bet you're pretty, pretty talented at talking, too. Psychology, negotiation, observation. I have many talents useful for building conversation. Hmm. Then why don't you use those talents to try to have a fun conversation? Um, or it's because it's boring to talk to us. What is it? Do you want me to deny that? Just a second. Uh, I think I get why everyone tries to talk to you every day. <laughs> I'm willing to go out of my way to do something to get you to talk to me. How pointless. That seems like a waste of time. Okay. Oh no, kill a try! I will fight you. Well, I'm gonna head back first, but... You're up early! Did you have something to do? No. I was heading to the classroom simply because I had nothing better to do. Hmm. I, I see. I was just out for a job. He's rude, you play any sports? Do you like boats? You're right. Oh god, please run to Nagato at some point. I am talented at all sports. However, I have never exercised for pleasure. Just a second. Um, I love donuts! What about you, Izuru? You like donuts? <laughs> Not really. I don't like any food in particular. Oh, this is hard. This is really hard. I'm sad, swirly hair. Is that all? If you're finished, I'll be off now. Huh? Uh, wait! Um, then after school, I'll be ready with the topics. Just wait for it. <sighs> Do as you like. <laughs> oh. Just trying to be buddies, Izuru. A, a one-move card? Really? Yeah, great. Fucking great. What am I demon gonna do with that? You're as useless as everybody at this fucking school. I'm taking a walk. Uh, suddenly a bookcase falls. Oh, I cut with my hoge. 
but you dodge it gracefully. Phew, that was close. <laughs> Take this. <laughs> My big, sharp, pointy hair just cuts it in half. <laughs> this power coursing through me. Okay, I think I actually, if I remember correctly, oh wait, no, that, I think Monokuma gives me a hope card. Is that right? Or did he give me a success card? I can't remember. I know I just talked about how this was useless, but... Oh, the double square card. That's still pretty good. <laughs> oh, what'd you say? I'm sorry? You were just saying how useless this card is, and then you go use it the next turn? You're so full of shit, Izaru! Oh, Angie! Huh? Huh? When did you get here? Oh, oh hello! It's tall, dark, and sexy. What? I don't believe we've ever spoken before. Did you come to pray to a tour? Your god is a lie. <laughs> no. I would not come to the music room looking for someone who should be in the art room. I see. Yeah -ha! Good point. Is my presence disturbing you? A tour said the music room is rather dreary and that I should decorate it. So I was praying to see how I should arrange the decorations to best harmonize with music. That's... Decorations. These paintings and sculptures all over. Are these your doing? That's not right! I didn't create this artwork! Atua did it from within me! So that's what you mean. Atuo, huh? Yeah! Yeah! Isn't it divine? Oh, you know what? I think something just kind of hit me. Maybe the reason why he decided to change his voice for Hajime this time was because he was also voicing Izuru. And he felt that one should be a little deeper, because it's Izuru, and he's all serious and moody and shit. Okay, that might make a little more sense. I saw some of you were like, like, he, Nico's such a hypocrite. Last episode, he was like, why did Johnny Young Bosch make his voice higher? And then he goes and makes Hodgeway's voice a little bit higher. That's totally fucking different, okay? That happened to that is just because I literally had two characters with the exact same voice. But for him, it was Rintar, it was between Rintar and Hajime, and, and Rintar already had a deeper voice, a deeper Hajime voice. So it didn't seem like he needed to change his, his Hajime. But maybe this is why, because he felt like they need to juxtapose the the easier side or something. Yeah! Isn't it divine? If you're ever feeling unhappy or discouraged, you should pray to Atua. I'm never anything or nothing. It'll be okay. Atua's words are never wrong. Atua sees all and will save only those who believe. Hmm. Hmm. So that's how you go about manipulating people into giving you what you want. To get exactly what you want, just like you expect. That satisfies you. How boring. Aww. <laughs> that's not very nice. You're aroused Atua's wrath, you know. Bring it on. Your god is nothing to me. You'll get punished. Why? You'll even be punished across six generations. How boring. How boring. If even if that's true, I don't care. Oh. Whoa, that was kind of interesting to see someone actually stand up to Angie and her bullshit. Now get out of my way, foolish girl. Know your place. Then square. It's really hot out. Because, oh yeah, freak heat wave. Lock yourself in the room. Research the mystery of the heat wave. Let's do lock yourself in the room this time. Don't leave the safety of your air-conditioned room. Problem solved. Luck increased. Holy shit. A lot. Uh, to the despair course. I didn't make it to the end. Oh, well. Today is the school festival. It's a boring event, but it's me forced you to participate. To get her to leave you alone, you decided to walk around a bit for a bit. Where do you go? There's an exhibit in the school building. It seems there are shows in the gym. There are food stands in the court, the schoolyard. I think I did an exhibit last time, right? Oh, wow. oh, oh, here we go. Yes. Oh, he's a room. This room isn't really an exhibit. It's just an arcade where we can play games. Very well. That's fine. Time passes the same, regardless of what I'm doing. Hmm. Super difficult. <laughs> uh, I lost. But it was a close battle. But still. I had a lot of fun. Why? Fun. Even though you lost with the one talent you have. Well? Losing is frustrating, but... but I'm glad I was able to pay play with you, Isuru. Besides... The game's not over just because I lost once. We can keep playing, as long as we're friends. Right? So, let's have another battle. I won't lose this time. Very well. Very well. Even though the outcome is the same no matter how many times we play. Play the game over and over again with Jackie. The power. Well, at least Jackie seems fairly chipper about it. I wonder where Hajime went. <laughs> Hajime's dead. Yes, success card. That's exactly what I wanted to get. Now so you get that dumb surgery. I need to undergo the Kamakura project again. Oh, battling alongside Usame. Interesting. Well, time to die. Oh, so I got a zero move card from Himiko. Interesting. Oh, acquired a goodbye card. 
card. What's that? Change the placement of other characters on the board. Oh, okay. Let's go for a long distance run. Uh, run at full speed, run at your own pace. Run at full speed! Just run through it all before you get tired. Hoo-ah! Right, you feel like you went pretty fast. Agility increased. All right, another friend square. Ah, oh, Fukawa! <laughs> Whoa! Try to jump out of the window when you feel something unusual, why don't you? <laughs> What's with that hairstyle? You look like you come from crawling out of a TV! I see! This long, luscious locks! But you're a boy! Huh, I meant that fires me up a bit. <laughs> you're very energetic for the middle of the night. Where are you up writing a novel? Yep. Oh, you know, Miss Morose? Maybe you're not, not suspicious, but just another schoolmate? Well, it doesn't matter, because the first time you met me! Hmm. A murderous fiend personality. I was aware of you, but... <laughs> oh, do you think I'm boring and worthless just because I'm a cliché? You thought of that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, whether or not being a murderous fiend is cliché, I definitely exist, you know. My existence may be unnatural, but I can't deny the fact that I'm here now! You're all right. <laughs> it's all right. My existence is unnatural, too. Something that has been born, acknowledged, and lived life can't be denied its existence. Yes! Even so, as long as I'm here, I know I'm gonna have to li live like this. That's all I can do. Well, that's just what my murderous fiend's intuition is telling me anyway. You understand? You understand that feeling a bit, don't you? <laughs> or could it just be sympathy f Could it just be sympathy for a murderous fiend? Gah! Oh boy. This conversation is worthless. <laughs> I know, right? Ah, super worthless! <laughs> that was bizarre. <laughs> User size pretty. It's pretty strange, I gotta say. Run into a whole cast of just kooky characters. That's John and Ropa in a nutshell, dude. Your last winner at the academy. Graduation will be here before you know it. Your class may invite you to the Christmas party today. What do you do? I could drag along anyway, so I'll go. Perhaps I'll return to the dorms. Perhaps I will leave the academy forever. I could drag along anyway, so I'll go. Hello there. <laughs> He's her. Thanks for coming today. Yay! <laughs> you came back without me having to come get you! I feel so many emotions right now! <laughs> Not really. One of you guys actually pointed out, so, like, you can also see how the difference uh, between Izuru and Hajime. Hajime runs into Monami, while Izuru runs into Asami, who's like, you know, quote unquote, the better version, right? Of the other. <laughs> Interesting. It's just like, like, little things like that. I simply bypassed an annoying conversation. I predicted that you'd come to get me anyway. Hey! I'm happy to hear that. Don't take that as a win. Until recently, you never would have come back on your own. What is it? I do not feel like I have changed. Well, mm -hmm. something has changed. The distance between us. We spent three years as classmates. There's no way nothing changed in that time. See? I've even started to get a better win rate against you, Izuru. I'm sure a lot of things changed for you since you came here to this academy, too. Chiaki has a point. If all you did was spend time by yourself, I don't think you would have grown into the person you are today. That single act of enrolling in Hostbrook Academy will result in great things someday. Mm -hmm. For once, you actually sound like a teacher. <laughs> oh, that's true. Sami was a little teacherly right then. <gasps> I, I know, right? I can't rise to the occasion when necessary. You can't. No, I don't know how to feel about the that for once remark. Spend Christmas with your classmates. <laughs> oh, Izuru is slowly opening up. In his own weird way. Oh, bye bye. I'm running to Comedia. He's gotta be here. All right, there's gotta be an event where I run into him. It's gonna fucking happen. Getting the Falcon kick because I heard you guys say this is uh, pretty awesome at high levels. Huh, I haven't gotten the surgery yet. I'm not, man, I don't get it this game. That would suck. Because that thing's awesome. I got the success card too. What the fuck? Can't find something in the dark. What do you do? Try feeling even more terrible. Play with a clacker. Play with a clacker! Clack a de clack! A steady clacking sound seeps into your weary heart. Your mind goes blank. Clack a la clack! Clack a la clack! So I feel like nothing matters at all. Strength went up! Yes! More power! Uh, missed out on the final exam! Don't give a shit! I don't know. I feel like I kind of fucked this one up. I didn't even get the. I didn't even get the damn uh, surgery. For some reason. Can I not as easier or something? Or is it because I may I, I got off the I got the despair course at one point? Everything is as predicted. All the minor variances are insignificant ripples. 
What will happen after graduation? I can also predict that with ease. However, this is Rukamakura, a graduate from Hoaxie Academy. I learned nothing. Hmm, I might redo that actually. All right, well, I'm redoing this, so I might as well try one of these other ones. Uh, table tennis or soccer? Uh, let's go with table tennis. What? Oh, yes, there we go. Are you going to play table tennis? Wouldn't you rather do boating? It was the event I felt as though I would be able to finish quickest. I see. I see. Unlike team events, no one can even can slow you down here. <laughs> but wow, to be able to see you play against someone. It must be a lucky day for me. What a beautifully helpful day today is. Are you my opponent? Um, no, it seems like someone from another class. If I, if I keep winning, I'll go against you. I don't think I can defeat anyone else. It's a shame, but we won't be able to compete. Really. It doesn't matter to me who is my opponent. You obtained a flawless victory in table tennis. No, that's the end of our scene, that's it now! Come on! Give me a little more than that, Danganronpa. Okay, this is what happens if I choose soccer, which, because I fucked up again, I had to redo it again. I did the surgery and I, I chanced it without the success card. And I still, I got refucked over, so. Huh? Are you my opponent? Hmm. Oh dear, it'd be great if someone would tell me what to do in this situation. You are. You speak highly of your various functions, yet when troubled, you rely on others. <laughs> You say such hurtful things as if it's the obvious truth. You're clearly robophobic. Do not mock me. Robots have feelings too, you know. I won't stand for insults. Not even from you, Izaru. Hmm. Are you going to look away from the truth? Are you going to rely on your uniqueness as a robot to hide how unremarkable you truly are? <laughs> oh, how savage. What's wrong? No, I just think you should be polite and maybe not be a giant dick. There are things you just don't say to other people, even if it is the truth. Even I know that, and I'm a robot. So you should be able to understand. Or do you think your relationships don't matter? Because that would be a boring thing to say. How boring. You're saying boring things yourself. Listen closely. All right, Izaru, let's start our match. Though you might though you might win, I'll show you that you cannot achieve victory nor demonstrate your talents just by yourself. You single-handedly defeated Kibo's kit team. <laughs> yes, I can. All right, uh, let's go with... Seems there's shows in the gym. Oh! Hey! Hey! Uh, oh, hey, Izaru! I'm Atomic! Help out! We need more people to build the stage! Fine. He did it single handedly in two seconds. Boom! Jeez. Oh! It's just in time! Hey, so. You're a big helper there! How about it? You want to become my psychic too? <laughs> you understand? It wouldn't make sense to have a psychic who is better than you at everything, right? Huh. Yeah! Ultimate hope! That's nothing! I'm Kaito Momota! Luminary of the stars, boy! Know your place! I can analyze everything about a future you would follow. Idiot. Analyze? You're talking about predictions! My destiny's too big to be predicted! Plus, I've got Suichi and Makuro as my sidekicks! Ah, uh, they're still bonding here too, good! To include their strengths, the possibilities are endless! How boring. As I predicted, you are an idiot. How boring. What? That's a bad habit! Keep saying that, you'll start think think everything's boring. I do. Are you okay with that? <sighs> My word, everything you say is boring. You said ignore Kaido who kept bugging you about being a sidekick. <laughs> Man, Ichiro is such a fucking party pooper, isn't he? He's such a wet blanket. <laughs> oh my god, I'm meeting up with Kaido. It's a friendly square. Phew. Hmm. Are you done playing piano for now? Huh? Uh, uh, how long have you been here? Since you began playing Chopin's Farewell Waltz. I see. I, I see. I didn't notice that at all. You should have said sooner. You know? Oh, so you know Farewell Waltz? It's so pretty, but so tragic. It makes my chest hurt. I'm sure plenty of people have heard this song before, but how many know it's by Chopin? Do you enjoy music a lot? Um, your name is... I... I am called Izuru Kamakura. Um, you're called? More importantly. And you. Yeah. Oh, I'm... Akamatsu, I'm the ultimate pianist. That's right. So, do you like music, Izuru? I... Singing, instruments, writing lyrics, and music. I can do all those sorts of things. Huh? Whoa! That's amazing! Then can you play the piano, too? Good. With ease. Uh... <laughs> wow! Well, everyone calls me Piano Freak, but I'm curious if you can play better than me. Hey. If you don't mind, I'd like to hear you play. What is it? You want me to hear me play right now? You know? Can you? I mean, you already heard me play. Very well. If that's what you wish, then I don't mind. <sighs> wow, that was amazing. 
That was such a stunning performance. Holy shit! Are you dissatisfied? No. no. No, nothing like that. Thanks for playing for me. Your technique's... Technique was incredible. You played all the difficult parts like they were nothing. The rhythm and everything was perfect. It was a beautiful performance, but... Hmm. So you are dissatisfied. Hey. I'm not dissatisfied. What do you think of when you play the piano, Izuru? What do you want it to deliver to the audience? Do you want them to feel anything? Not really. Not particularly. Huh? Huh? N nothing? Even though you can play so well? You know? Then, what did you think of my performance earlier? Yes. It was close to perfection. Your talent would be clear to anyone. That's not true. Um, that's not what I meant. Ah, oh, jeez. Not jeez. It's hard for me to critique other people's performances. Uh. But, I was thinking how you could do so much more. If you have this much talent, you could deliver any kind of emotion through music. How boring. Even if I were to do that, the outcome would be predictable. I don't agree with that. So you think you don't need to do it because you can predict it? I think differently. Hey. Hey, Izuru, if you want, would you like to come hear me play again? Why? Why? Um. Um, I have a lot of things I want to tell you. Tell you know? You. But instead of using words, I think it'd be faster if I used the piano. All right? If you're able to smile for my performance, then that'd be great. Is that okay? How pointless. I don't feel it necessary to nod. Huh? <laughs> a simple okay would have been enough. Hmm. Jeez. Well, whatever. I don't want to force you or anything. Hi. But whenever you feel like it, come visit me. I play the piano every day, so... Very well. Well, I have plenty of time, so I'll consider it. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was that was actually kind of nice. Kind of so upbeat. Takes everything in stride, baby. All right, perhaps I will return to the dorms. Hmm. Oh, hey, Ishimaru. Hmm. Why are you here, Iz Izuru? Isn't your class having a Christmas party? Did you let them know you'd be absent? Not really. I'll do that later. You hear me? Irresponsible. That kind of notice needs to be given as soon as possible. What is it? You're quite pushy. Do you dislike me that much? What? What? You are. You've looked at me with hostility these last three years, haven't you? So, you've noticed. It's true, I have my reservations about you. You are a talented individual, without question. I'm not jealous or complaining. I am merely cautious of your unbridled talent. You hear me? Please do not misunderstand. I have nothing against you personally. Hmm. So you're just taking your frustrations out on me. Hmm. I deserve that, but let me say this. I do get frustrated by you, because I think there is something you lack. Hmm. Something I lack? Hmm. Got it! Effort! Why? Effort? Do you think someone as talented as I needs something like that? Count on it! Indeed you do! You have all this talent, but you have no goals! No motivation! You're right. You're right. I have no purpose right now. I have not been given one. You hear me? You must put in that effort for yourself! You must find out how to best use your talent! How pointless. I don't think there's any meaning in me doing that. I am being neglected for now. But before long, someone will appear to leech off my talents. And... I will be used for the sake of hope. Do you understand? The pattern of hope is predictable. The process may vary, but the result is always the same. Boring, predictable hope. Oh. They mm -hmm. see him sort of how he, he did have that potential to move in the direction of despair. But that is not your true will! Mm hmm? So I should do something of my own free will then. Would you still feel that way if, for example, I use my talents towards some evil purpose? That's wrong! Not at all! If you dare take one step down the path, path I will write you! <sighs> you are an annoyance. You were persistently lectured by Kiyotaka, but the important, importance of effort. Intriguing! It's hard to tell, though, whether either Izuru is really learning anything after all this. Okay, well, I feel like I did at least a little bit better on this one. I'm only level 18, though. I never, again, I never got the surgery this time. I got it the second time, but I did it and I failed, so it's like... Ugh. All right, let's add Izuru in here. Oh, interesting. It actually keeps my old one, though. And uh, another slot. Oh, all right. Well, that's good. Uh, so it does keep up to three of them at once. That is kind of nice, I think. Especially if you're like, okay, I still fucked up. Well, Izuru's got the most strength out of everybody. Although he's considerably a lowest level. Again, if I just got in the damn surgery that time. All right, well, let's see how far I can get with this group. Ah, ha, curse Mana Girl. Oh, hey, baby. Want a piece of this Monokuma? I think you do, boy. Oh, God, no. Oh, sweet. I can make a katana, too. Oh, by the way, you guys said these are uh, 
these are actually re uh, references to the, the original game. So the kitchen knife is reference to Leon saying stupid, stupid, stupid when Nagi started uh, accusing him. And the replica sword, I'm not really sure about. Was it reference to Hakuri or something? I, I don't know. I was saying a, a sword-based sneak attack. Granted, the translation for the one I, I played through is different from the official translation, so. Oh, is this like a, what is it? Oh, hey! Is that like a special mod? Oh, it was! He did one damage to me, and then I, but I'm only doing one damage to him. But I actually managed to get him. 1400 G, all right. Yeah, that <laughs> dumbbell. I'm strong. It's the copper stuff, which I haven't come across yet. Doesn't even tell me actually what the stats for it are. Oh no, the little bunny hop things are hard to hit. Oh my God, seriously? Oh, fuck you. So the only way to hit them is with a is with an actual magic attack. Oh, fuck me. I, I can't hit him then. I have to run. Oh, looks like we got a tank. A literal tank. One of my guys is dead, and all my MP is like super low. Ugh, really regretting not getting an absorb focus for Kameda or Kokichi. <laughs> Justice Hammer, I have to save her! All right, managed to make it back here with Pretty much full of stats, so <laughs> Monokuma tank. <laughs> oh my god, I got a mustache and big eyebrows! Like Shimaru! Trying to kick some ass, kick some ass, kick, 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 kick some ass! I'm hoping he's not resistant to physical attacks. Boom. No, he is! Oh, god damn it, seriously. Which essentially means Hajime and Izuru are completely useless. Great. This essentially means you have to kind of build multiple types of parties, right? So in this case, I would have an all-intelligence party. I don't think I'm gonna be able to beat this guy, but I'm gonna try anyway. Yeah, Ezer is dead. Oh my god, seriously. So much damage. All right, I keep forgetting about Awaken. Boom. Oh god, are you kidding me? You put to sleep my two characters that I can actually do anything to you? And Kokichi's out of MP, and so is Nagato, which means I'm fucked. Well, it turns out you at least run away from boss fights, so that's good. <sighs> All right, well, that means I'm gonna need another magic dealer, so. And I believe uh, Miyu is uh, an intelligent type, so. What a perfect chance to go go and do it, I suppose, right? Hell yeah, boy, you're ready for the fucking best character here! Ah, I believe! Also, do have some money to spend. Maybe I, maybe I can get a super supreme one. You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a few. Ishimaru! Fukawa, yeah, gotta always get those Fukawas. Salise! Ifumi! Oh, by the way, you guys said it. the reason why uh, Hajime was by himself was because his whole his party wasn't. Uh, I didn't get the cards for the remainder of his party. Apparently, wh whichever character you have, they always have the same party members. I see. Okay. Regular Fukawa. Ifumi again. Mondowada again. Ashina! Oh, yes! I got an S! Alright, I'm gonna go do specials in my room! Woo! Oh my god, I've got an S. I don't believe it. Well, she's gonna be the sports type, which is not really what I need here, unfortunately. Oh! I got S ranked Rintaro! Yes! S Rintaro. He's a he's a variety one, I think. He is. Alright. Huh, maybe I should go with Rintaro then. Just because I got an S rank of his. And he's variety, so I can choose to make him magic oriented, right? You know what? I'm gonna do that. He's one of the highly requested ones anyway, so. And can me the grant special privileges. Rolling here could really work for me. Oh, interesting. He's still rated as the uh, ultimate question mark, even here. Oh yeah, he's got really high luck too. All right, what should you do about the ghost? Punch it, say a prayer here in the movie. Let's try punching it this time. See, so you hit it right. Boom! Rah! Yep, the ghost. It probably increases. Yep, a strength. Oh wow, give me a lot of strength. All right, friendly square. May I? Rintar, may I have a moment of your time? Your sleeve appears to be torn. Yeah. Huh? That's a shame. Oh yeah, you're right. I must have caught it on something. I will do it. Shall I repair it? You need not hesitate. My utmost desire is to serve others. I'm sorry, but... Are you sure? Thank you, I'd appreciate that. Understood. Understood. Please change out of your torn shirt and give it to me. You do not need to wash it. I will make sure it is laundered before returning it. How should I put this? That'd be absolutely perfect. You're something else, Miss Ultimate Maid. Makes me feel kind of nostalgic. Excuse me. I hope you are not feeling nostalgic because I remind you of your mother. No. <laughs> no, no. 
made a maid at my house a long time ago, is all. How should I put this? I don't think she was as spectacular as you, but to a kid, it felt like she could do anything. She sounds like quite the fantastic maid. That's right. Yeah, she was nice, took care of everyone. <laughs> we were always fighting over her. It was silly kid stuff. Like you got to have her read a bedtime story to them first. I see. I see. That is a heartwarming story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose those were good times. All of us treated her like a second mother. Oh, no. Oh, but I'm not comparing her to you or anything, you know? <laughs> I understand. Perhaps your mate's utmost desire was for you to trust her enough to see her that way. Ah, uh, that's nice. Today is the Summer Sports Festival. You're going to be in the three-man relay race. The other two members of your team are athletic. Which one should you run? Which one should you run? The others can finish. I'll run first. I'll run second. I'll be the anchor and run last. Let's do that. <laughs> Hello there! And now for the literal anchor. I'm Fat Tagami. The race started. My team's in first place. I'm sure. We'll still be in the first place after the baton pass. Uh, this is a lot of pressure. It seems your team has a lot of trust in you, but this race won't go that easily. Not Have you true. do you see me in the anime? I'm fast as fuck. <laughs> I see your team is f pretty fat too, Tagami. I mean, I mean, I mean, fast. But no matter what happens, I'm going to anchor this team. <laughs> Rentaro, don't tell me you think m I move slowly because of my size. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be honest, I was a little bit relieved when I saw you next to me. How should I put this? But you're an anchor, just like me, up against a team of sports ultimates. It'd be unwise of me to underestimate you. That's fine. Huh, so you're, you're a sharp one after all. Very interesting. I will guide you all. But, in the name of my family, I will be the one to lead my team to victory. Running the final lap as the anchor, you and Bianca sprint to the finish. Yeah! Go, go, fat to call me! Do, 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 do! No, I didn't even say what! What the fuck? Don't keep me hanging, game. Oh, what the hell? Atlanta, wait, Atlanta Grocery Square, am I went up three levels now? Wait, why? Before I was going only going up one, now I'm going up three? What happened? Oh, good, I got a success card. Please do the surgery this time. And you just randomly get it for when you're when you got like one of the higher rank cards. I, I have no idea. I got it that time too, though. I guess, yeah. I think it's just kind of random now. I just, I land on another one and now I got one up two. And they're at like times two or times anything squares. Hey. All right, friendly square. Hey, Peko, I just got back from my trip. I prob probably you wanted. <gasps> I haven't seen Peko in a while. Oh, really? I apologize. Rintaro, thank you for doing this. I know your travels abroad aren't just for fun. All right. Hey, I don't mention it. It's nothing. Actually, it sort of helps me. Gives me some time to relax during my trips. Hey, you know what? When you think about it, I'm voiced by Johnny Young Bosch, right? And you look like the cross-dressing Yuna Arakami. So technically, we're both Johnny Young Bosch. <gasps> oh, fake Makuro! I didn't know you two were me were meal buddies. What you guys talking about, huh? What? J J Junko, it's nothing. Do not do not worry about it. What? <laughs> well, that's not like totally suspicious. Should I not mention this to Fuyuhiko? Uh. Why? What does he have to do with this? Huh? Huh? You and him aren't close. Hey. Close? How? Fuyuhiko and I are just new classmates. Do you know something we don't? Seriously? Wow! Don't even talk to each other. Weird. I could have sworn you two were close. Oh, nothing. We weren't discussing anything bad. They could have seemed to be blushing a bit, though. Uh. Well. It's really nothing. But to keep rumors from spreading, I suppose I must tell you. But the truth is. Rintaro's been showing me pictures of animals he's met on his travels. What? Huh? Animals? Yeah. Yeah, I was in the Mediterranean. I got lots of photos of cats. There was this one island. Cats are as far as the eye could see. <laughs> Not bad. That sounds wonderful. I would love to see that with my own eyes. I love kitties! <laughs> oh, so you like animals, Pico? That's like so adorbs. Three of you spent some time looking at animal pictures. I think McCurr was trying too hard to act like like spunky girl, right? <laughs> it's kind of when you think about it, it's kind of funny because she's like, in reality, like Peiko in her demeanor. Oh hey, I've got Cork here on my team, and Kaede and Gonta. Hell yes, baby, let's do this. Gonta smash! Now, Cork here, seesaw powers. What does Kaede have? Oh, she's a healer, of course she is. So yeah, still made like the the. The strength, essentially, of your party members is really determined by just the uh, uh, the rank of the cards you have. So if I had a if I had a uh, a rare card, uh, my uh, party members would be stronger by default. 
I thought it would actually be like the stats of the ones that I already like grinded out essentially. Oh, nice. And if it wasn't, then they just have like a default stat. <laughs> oh, hey Keo, how's your seesaw project going? Not enough. 10 seesaws, 30 seesaws, 100 seesaws. It's never enough. Oh Keo, it's been a while. You took the day off yesterday, right? Yes, that is correct. I returned from my field work only just last night. I see you have re returned as well, Rentaro. Where'd you go this time? Yeah. Southeast Asia. Just got back the day before yesterday. But I've got another trip planned tomorrow. We almost missed each other. Let's see. Hmm. You are ever busy, flitting around the world as you do. It may sound strange coming from me, but you seem pale. It may be best to recuperate. Actually. Sister knows the best medicine. Right, sister? That's right, Kyo. Huh, maybe. There's still so many places I want to go. Isn't the same for you? Oh, and I also gotta res rescue my sisters and shit like that. The answer to that question is precisely. For research, of course. But another reason as well. <laughs> oh! Another reason? <laughs> Oddly enough, when I look at you, I sense that we are kindred spirits. Thoughts. You too are flitting around with a purpose. That is what I have deduced. <laughs> Huh, well, you are good at observing people. <laughs> do you have any siblings, Keo? Yes. I do. An older sister. Is that right? Oh, nice. Are you too close? You might say we are close. Very close. Maybe even a little bit too close. Let's see. Very much so. My sister is someone who is very important to me. Very important indeed. Wow, impressive. You said that without much prompting, Keo. That was kind of unexpected. It's true. But in that case, maybe you understand. Hmm. Do have asked me such a question. Do you travel, travels have something to do with siblings? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, s something like that. I see. I see. That explains it. I should not stop you from pushing yourself in that case. I too wish to do everything I can for my sister. That is how I feel. Is that right? Huh. And here I thought no one would really ever really understand. Tell me your thoughts. By the way, the sibling you are pushing yourself so hard for, is it a brother? A s or a sister? Yeah. Uh, oh, um, a little sister. Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, I believe we are more alike than I even thought initially. The fact that you have so much drive must mean you have a wonderful sister. That's right. Oh yeah, much better than me. <laughs> Is that so? I won't ask in detail, but I shall root for you. <laughs> Getting some on the side, yeah? High five, boy! Wincest! Wait, what? What? <laughs> when the day comes that you fulfilled your goal, I would like to hear more of your sister. <laughs> I feel like you and I are talking about two different things. <laughs> My luck went up. Yeah? Did it? Why? Hmm. Ha! <laughs> Ishimara. Hmm, it's been a while since, I, since I've seen you in class. Were you traveling again? That's right. Yeah, basically. I brought you some souvenirs. Feel free to take one. <laughs> I see. I shall accept them with gratitude. You hear me? Wait, that's not what I came to say. Rentaro, have you been keeping up with your studies? But your travels were for an independent study. Beard is scooping off. Oh, nothing. Oh, I don't think you need to worry about that. Besides, scooping off is a bit harsh. Mm. Actually, this academy emphasizes talent over attendance and grades, right? I gain valuable experience when I travel. Stuff that will help me with exams, you know. Even so, you should not neglect your studies. Studying is a student's duty. I'm sorry. Hey, I hear you. That's really just your perspective, right? What? Understand? There's a lot in life more important than studying, wouldn't you say? Things you really want to do. Things you have to do. Are you saying you have such a thing? Yeah. I do, but I'd appreciate it if you didn't ask. It's a little sensitive. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> but you know what? I have been traveling a lot lately. I should cap up, catch up on my studies. Hmm. I see. I'm not fond of secrets, but... You hear me? If you want to catch up on your studies, I am more than happy to help you. Mm -hmm. Huh? You understand? Fortunately for you, I have taken thorough notes on every conceivable subject. Ha! <laughs> huh. I never imagined it would end up like this. Spend some time studying in the library! Woo! Yeah! Learning life lessons. Do, 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 do. Learning some stuff and do, 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 do. Uh, hey, how's it going? I'll give you, what you whichever one you like. Small, clear, so which one should you choose? The big box or small box? I'll go with a small one. Situations like these. Being greedy is dangerous. Let's pick the small box. 
Oh my god, it's demons! When you open the box, disaster pours out over the earth, soaking in despair and ruin. But you're always telling you must be that there must be help left somewhere. My fortitude increased. Today's a fall school festival. Your server at the shop. It's time for a break. Why don't I go check out the other events? Uh, I'll stay here and get a drink. Someplace relaxing would be nice. There's some kind of show at the gym. Some kind of show at the gym. Oh! Hey there. Huh? Foo! That should be good for now. Did you come to watch the show, Rintaro? Yeah. I did. I, enjoy I enjoyed it a lot. You really classed up the place with a fashion show, Junko. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I'm not hitting on you or anything. <laughs> oh, I know that. You like the, the type of place I feel. But you're different, aren't you? You got me. Huh. I'm actually glad to hear you say that. What didn't think I get around? Hmm. Not to say I don't, though. <laughs> I totally get that. I'm sure the complete opposite of sleazy, right? Do you get dumped right after someone tells you you're too close to off from your emotions? Totally. Well, I'm totally, I'm totally right, aren't I? I can think I'm, think I got a pretty good eye for people. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not touching that one. No comment. You and Jigo got along surprisingly well, and you told her to check out, to check out your shop. All right, cool. It's a toy vending machine. Was this always here? What do you do? <laughs> give it a spin. Give it a spin. Give it a spin, then! We'll come out. The miniature black hole starship came out. It generated tiny black holes. It's powered by their energy. Does it like this being a toy vending machine? My intellect went up, though! Yeah! That's what I want to have go up, too. All right. Hey. <laughs> Sonya. Oh, hey, Sonya. Is it right if I sit with you? Yes. By all means, please join me. I believe this will be our first meal together. <laughs> yeah, I never imagined that one day I'd be sitting next to a princess. <laughs> at this academy, I am a transfer student, so please be at ease around me. Oh, it's like relax a bit then. Got it. Hey. Sonia, you were born in the kingdom of Nova Selic in Europe, right? Um, indeed, I was. I am told you have a pension for travel. Have you visited Nova Selic before, Rontaro? That's true. No, unfortunately, I haven't been there yet. But last time I was in Europe, I bought some chocolate from Nova Selic. Now, I've tasted a lot of things in my life, but I'll never forget that chocolate. Wow! Well, I am pleased you have tasted my homeland's national specialty. I could easily erase you having your supply of Nova Selic chocolate delivered to you. No. <laughs> oh, no, really, that's okay. It was delicious, but don't get me wrong. That, don't get me wrong, but that's asking too much. Oh, my. Are you sure? In my homeland, when foreign guests praise our cuisine, it is custom for us to give gift them as much food as they can carry. However... Perhaps that your supply is too extravagant. I cannot imagine where you would store it. <laughs> that reminds me of Grandma spoiling their grandchildren on New Year. No, New Year's. I've been to so many countries, but there's still so many I, I don't know. The Kingdom of Noah Selic sounds incredible. I'd love to go someday. Wow! <laughs> Please do! I would be honored to guide you to all the sites Nova Selic has to offer. So unsure. Now, if you're back to in Nova Selic, you can guide me as a princess, not as a student, right? You got me. I'm really grateful, but I gotta admit that makes me nervous. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rintar just kind of gets along with everybody, doesn't he? I'm just kind of an easy-going dude. Easy-going dude, bro. I don't think I'm gonna be getting the surgery on this one again. God dang it! I guess it's totally random. I was, like at the beginning, I was getting it every single time. Or maybe once you reach like a certain level, you just don't get it anymore. Holy shit, to max out electric paralyze, I, I need 80 for this next one. Jesus. Why so many? Your last winter at the academy, you're back from your trip. The Christmas has passed. The dining hall is fewer people than usual. Should you talk to someone? <laughs> Kaida, you're looking well. Kyo, long time to see. Juko, I have, I have something for you. You know, I kind of want to see what happens more with, with Kyo here. Hello. Greetings, Rintaro. I see you're back from another trip. Where did you go this time? Yeah. South America. Quite the stimulating trip. Yes. I see. I'm glad you've returned safely. I wish to speak with you about something. It seems as though your travels have a purpose. Were you able to fulfill it this time? No. No, not yet. However... But you haven't given up. Isn't that correct? Actually... Are you here to tell me I'm pathetic and I should just quit? No. No. To that I say, that is simply another aspect of the beauty of humanity. I would like to continue to root for you as your friend. Is that right? Huh. That's really encouraging. Thanks, Kyo. You and Kokio spent some time discussing all the people you met on your trip. So, did you get to find and fuck your sister? 
That's what, that's what I was expecting him to say. Oh, goody. Oh, yes. Oh, hey, I actually might be able to get to 80. That would be awesome. Yeah, I got it. Or if this, like, increases his power substantially or something. Max that shit out, boy. Boom. Oh, yeah. Sweet, awesome power. He's the electric god now. And I've also got some of this electric this electric power up as well. All right, they're gonna manage to do pretty well this time. Got electric paralyzed, maxed out, and uh, absorb. I got some of it absorb focus and defense up. All right, be a good spellcaster. Let's see how this works on this tank thing. <laughs> it's been forever since I was able to relax and have fun. My time here was inspiring. This from Tara, mommy, graduate from OC Academy. Yeah, that was a pretty chill one. I enjoy that though. Retarded seems like one of those dudes who's just like, you know what? Sit down and have a beer with. Talk about life's adventures. And Lord knows he'd have a lot of stories to tell. So you should have another piece of armor, at least none of the ones I seem to have gotten yet, have actually increased defense. I just get ones that increase influence, agility, focus. The only thing that seems to increase your defense is equipping the shield, which it takes up your weapon slot. So Rantaro's a little bit of a glass cannon here with a fucking god level luck. Wow, your luck even exceeds mine, Rantaro. I didn't even think I was possible. <laughs> oh my god, it's so glorious. Oh, fuck yeah. That's what I'm talking about, Rantaro. One hit, one kill. All right, let's try this again. But now Rantaro's on my team and he's got awesome fucking power. All right, level 10 electro paralyze. Let's see how much fucking power this has. Oh, yes, that's what I'm talking about, baby. Sword focus, 46, all right. Oh, don't put Rantara to sleep. That's the last thing I need. Wish you could attack my own guy so I could wake him up. At least magic wakes him up. A lot of times magic doesn't wake him up. Awaken, boom! Yes, got him. You sucker! 250. Staff dash. Gives you 40% fortitude. And money! Alright, before I return to base, let's go ahead and go upstairs and increase the, uh, oh, I can listen to music again. Yep, the death card rank. Machine ranks. And now let's run. That was pretty much all Rentaro, baby. Alright, what does this put the death card machine at? 7%! Man, this thing really goes up slowly, doesn't it? That's okay, I guess. Oh, hey, I got a S rank Kaido. Yes. Oh, and an S rank Tenko and an S rank Shuichi. Fuck yeah. Good shit. Well, give me some stuff to work with next time. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not ready to become a Picky Penguin. Or this will be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. So yes, I've got, uh, I mean... I can still do Miu's. I know I didn't do Miu's today, um, but I can still do it later. Um, I did get some S rank once. So I did get like, uh, so I got Kaido now, Shuichi, and Tenko, as well as uh, there's one uh, one other S rank I got too. So if any of those sound like ones that you want me to check out, uh, feel free to let me know. I, I'm sure I will do Miu's at some point though. I want to make sure that clear. So since that was also very highly requested. But uh, anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.